Hello everyone, I'm the Insomniac Reviewer number one hockey analyst on YouTube. I'm making this video to put an end to it. Putting an end to the Cindy Crosby argument to all the retarded bandwagon pen fan bugging me and maybe the ten real Pittsburgh fans they have. I'm gonna prove exactly why I'll take Cindy Crosby seriously. Reason number one He's a fucking playmaker. End of the video. No, I actually got a few more reasons than that. Okay, one, he's a fucking playmaker. I'm not taking away too much from playmakers because, you know, goal scorers do need the bitches to pass to them. And being a playmaker, you know, is okay. But no one goes out there and goes, hey, I want to get 50 assists. Everyone in the NHL would rather fucking have 50 goals than 50 assists. No shit. Reason number two, I hear his argument. He scored 100 points. Oh, what did he fucking do? He scores 30 garbage goals and has 70 basic assists. That's like a kitten without claws, a wheelchair kid without a fucking wheelchair. Jesus, people. And even this season, you'll say he scored 51 goals. Oh, what did he fucking do? Most of his goals are talentless garbage goals. It seems like the only fucking way that Crosby scores is if he has a nice pass to him. Or if it's a rebound, Crosby scores very, very little real goals, really talented goals. Ovechkin is dangerous every time he's on the fucking ice. Crosby, <laughs> crap. Sorry, eat apple. Ovechkin dangerous. Crosby as dangerous as a baby. Let's be honest, people. Crosby does not back Chuck. He sucks defensively. He has a very slow junior, uh, junior Philly shot. <sighs> Okay, and he's not elite. He's good. I'll give him that. Elite? No. I do not take him seriously because he can't score talented goals. All he needs is the league babysitting and guaranteeing him points and goals in order for him to get shit. <sighs> Another thing I hear is that he's a stick. He's the youngest Stanley Cup champion. The captain. Oh yeah, that's just fucking great. He has a cup that Batman won for you. And even in the Stanley Cup finals. He was useless. What do you have? Two fucking goals and both of them are garbage shit goals? Oh wow. And either way, Pittsburgh only has a cup because of Batman. The finals being moved up, the outside goal in game seven. He didn't do shit on his own. If it wasn't for Batman ordering Pittsburgh to win the Stanley Cup, they wouldn't have won. Crosby is not a legitimate champion. Stanley Cup champion. And even 08 Batman tried. You cannot say this. This was heard. After game two between the Red Wings and Pittsburgh, um, Gary Batman was heard in between the two aisles. Here's what Batman said. I'll quote him. There will not be a sweep on my watch, and I guarantee Red Wings will not win game three. He was heard saying that. Of course, Batman quickly covered that up after it got leaked. So, you know, you can. That's living proof right there. Bam! Batman did everything in his goddamn fucking power to help him out. No shit. Crosby will never be taken seriously until one, he becomes more than just a worthless ass playmaker. Two, he scores real goal, but not talentless garbage goal. Three, I don't know if he can. Even his fucking Olympic goal was a fluke. F L U K. E. Oh god. So let's be honest, people. He is not as good as Ovechkin. He will never fucking be as good as Ovechkin. Get over yourself. <sighs> he is a good player, but not great. Will he ever be great? I don't see it happening. And hell, if you put him on a defensive-minded team, if he didn't play an all-offensive team, I don't think he'd score 30 goals even. So, that's pretty much what I think. If you don't like it, piss off. Really, I don't give a shit. <sighs> I just thought I'd speak my mind and end this argument for all. And by the way, Pittsburgh fans, stop wasting my time with comments. You're all bandwagoners. Pittsburgh might have 10 real fans. Fuck off. Thank you. Haters, remember this. You are watching me, not the other way around. So suck on that, and that, and that, and peace. Fucking idiots.